Hey guys, appreciate you clicking on the video. What we're gonna go over today is gonna to be a pretty quick review on the Higdon foam filled standard size Bluebill over the last three years, how they performed, how they did, what I think about them and uh, why you should or should not buy them. So stick around, I appreciate you watching. If this video does help you uh, at the end, please share it to anyone who's looking to buy any diver decoys and hit that like button, I really appreciate it. So the Higdon foam fill decoys come in multiple versions. Uh, you've got the Battleship decoy, which is a much larger size, almost like the size of a Canada Goose. And then you have the standard size, which is what these are. So within the standard size, there's two variations as well. You can get a foam filled, which is what these are, or you can get one that's like uh, a normal duck decoy where it's an empty cavity inside of it. All right. So at the time I'm recording this video, uh, it's mid February, 2021. The foam filled decoys from the Higdon website are $49.99 for six. And six decoys comes with four drakes. They're all in the same position like this. And two hens. So you're gonna get four drakes, two hens for $49.99. If you opt out on getting foam filled, what you'll end up with for $44.99, so you'll save $5, is going to be the same thing. Um, I say five, so you're going to save $5, but if you diver hunt, you know that's not really the case. So if you're looking to get into diver duck hunting, if you're looking at this review to see whether or not, hey, should I buy Higdon foam filled decoys or uh, their bluebill decoys in general, go with the foam filled, all right? So I got an example for you. And in case you don't know, the reason you want the foam filled decoys is because when you're diver hunting, unlike puddle ducks who come from the top and work their way down, diver ducks will drop real quick and they'll zoom, zoom by and fly in line with your decoys. And what'll end up happening is you'll end up shooting your decoy. And you should be able to see, like on this one, so this is a number two steel pellet hole. Right here is a number two steel pellet hole. Number two steel pellet hole. This is where one grazed it. There's some damage down here. Um, and I, you might be able to hear it. That rattling is a pellet that's still stuck in the head. So if these would have been just the normal empty cavity uh, decoys, this decoy would have filled with water, it would have been submerged, it would have sunk to the bottom, I would have lost the decoy. Uh, so if you're looking into buying diver duck decoys, whether Higdon or otherwise, go ahead and just save, spend the $5, save money in the long run, and get the foam filled. Now these aren't the original paint jobs on them. Um, so I had these decoys for three years, right? So this isn't an out of the box decoy review or anything like that. I've hunted over these pretty hard. So I've used these Higdon decoys for three years in Tennessee. They were in storage for a while. Um, and then in Maryland on the Susquehanna Flats. So a wide array of uses here. And over three years, there was only some minor cosmetic damage and the paint's really good. So Higdon will tell you that they've got the best paint on the market in terms of longevity and everything. Not sure if that's true or not. Can't tell you, I haven't used every decoy brand out there, but the decoys, their paint does hold really well. Um, on here, this is the one that was shot. This is the original paint scheme on the wing area, and there's no issues. I just touched up after three years. I did some minor touch-ups on the bill, the head, the tail, and the sides from some fading. Uh, these decoys are really light. You can carry them in, even foam-filled. They're not heavy. Uh, they're really good, and they're the, probably the cheapest on the market right now. If you look at some other brands like Tangle Free, Avian X, or anything like that, you're probably gonna pay double what you pay for these. So you can get a starter kit, basically, 12 Bluebill foam-filled decoys from Higdon, and it's gonna cost you about $100 for 12. If you're looking at Tangle Free or these other brands, which there's nothing wrong with those either, um, you're probably looking at, for six, you're probably looking at about $80. So you can outfit yourself through Higdon's um, decoys, for a lot cheaper so you can get a bigger spread. 
So if you're a diver hunter or you are getting into diver duck hunting, you know that numbers goes far with um, the decoys and divers. So you can get a lot more of these for less. Now they are kind of on the small side. I would say that if you're mainly hunting lesser scop, these are gonna be about the same size. So if you're hunting lesser bluebills, they're about the size of them. The actual greater scop or greater bluebills, they're a little bit bigger, but I've had no issues hunting over these. Um, with the Higdon decoys with just a, 12, a string of 12 in Tennessee, I've killed canvas backs and I've killed puddle ducks on them too. And then in Maryland, buffalo heads came, flew by them. I had swans fly by them. Don't think that was the decoys problem, but um, bluebills, mergansers, all kinds of divers, they'll come to these. These are usually what your standard is. So they're a little on the small side, but they're not tiny. Um, they're pretty close to life. Like they're pretty much indestructible if you get the foam filled and they're probably the cheapest point you can get for a quality decoy. Um, if you're not gonna go and buy some old decoys that are busted up and you're gonna have to repaint them. Now what I would recommend with these or any other decoy is out of the box when you get them is to go ahead and get yourself like a can of, it doesn't have to be Krylon, but you wanna get like a Krylon matte finish and the model number on this one is 1311. And all this does is it's gonna provide a clear coat to the decoys do two clear coats on it and it's gonna help protect it. It's gonna provide an outer barrier, which should prolong the lifespan of your decoys. Um, other than me wanting them maybe to look a little better, that's the only reason I painted them up, you could keep running these for a while. So if you're looking to buy diver duck decoys, specifically if you're wondering, hey, the Higgins are a little cheaper than everyone else, are they worthwhile? Absolutely, I'm looking to buy a bunch more um, in other diver ducks as well. Uh, so 100%, endorse diver duck decoys that are worth your money. So if you're trying to get into diver hunting or you just want to throw some diver ducks into your spread because you get the occasional blue bill, the occasional ring neck or whatever where you're mostly puddle duck hunting, 100% recommend going with the Higdons. They're going to save you a lot of money and they're pretty much indestructible. So three years, hard use, worth it. No cracks, no damage, minor paint chips that you can touch up with some acrylics real easy. Um, when the season's over. The keels are great. They've got a point up here for you mounting it, another anchor point here, and they have an anchor point in the back, which is nice, especially if you're running Texas rigs, is you can get different um, angles of motion on them, or even if you're running, running long lines, so that your long line isn't just 12 straight ducks in the exact same pattern. You can have them so they're facing different ways or whatever the uh, situation dictates. So. Again, if you're looking, if you're on the fence, hey, should I buy these? They're cheaper than everyone else, buy them. Don't look back. Um, if you want a, a quick link, if you go down in my description, there'll be a link to take you to Amazon. As of making this video, they're actually $5 cheaper on Amazon than Higdon's website or anywhere else, like I think Max Prairie Wing, Roger Sporting Goods, Bass Pro, like that. So that link will take you there. Amazon's got free shipping um, on them and uh, you'll be squared away and good to go. So. If you found that helpful, if you're gonna go ahead and buy some diver duck decoys and you're gonna go with Higdon's, let me know down below. If you prefer a different brand, let me know as well because I'm looking to spread, uh, extend my spread as well. So um, I'd like to know what your opinions are. If you appreciate the help, go ahead and give me a like. If you know somebody who's looking to get their diver ducks or you're getting into diver ducks or have a buddy who's wondering, hey, what decoy should I go with? Go ahead, share this video, let them know and I'd appreciate it. So until the next video, thanks for watching. Please join a conservation organization. That'll be down in the description as well. And uh, have a great day.